582,000, that is the number of men, women, and children experiencing homelessness on the streets of the U.S. Now, one young man is working to help as many of them as possible. Jaquiel Jackson founded Project I Am when he was just eight years old. He has since raised hundreds of thousands of dollars and distributed so-called blessing bags in cities across the nation. Jaquiel is now 15, and I'm so honored to have him join me in studio. Jaquiel Jackson, founder of Project I Am. Welcome, and it's so wonderful and really, truly an honor to meet you. Thank you for having me. Uh, you founded this nonprofit as an eight-year-old. How did that happen? Well, really, it was an experience that I had at five years old that kind of led to the organization being started at eight years old. Um, I went to go feed the homeless my, uh, my cousins, and I got to see how they all live for the first time. And at that age, I'm pretty sure we all think that everybody has homes, so I was really confused. And I asked my parents if we can give them all houses, and we couldn't do that, of course, so I kept begging and begging, and I showed them how much of a passion I had for the issue, how much I really want to do something. And we sat down, and we talked about what we have on a daily basis that they don't have, that we can sometimes take for granted, and we thought about blessing bags. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more, and there you are with President uh, Barack Obama. <laughs> What a moment that must have been like for you. Uh, it, what is in a blessing bag? In a blessing bag is toiletry items like soap, tissue, socks, hand sanitizer, wipes, conditioner, lotion, all the daily essentials. And, and you mentioned when you were five years old and you were out there, you're talking about you're from Chicago. Yes. So it, you, you love Los Angeles. I know that you've branched your, out your organization. So now there's some uh, works that you're helping happen here in the city of Angels. What do you think, though, when you're driving around Los Angeles and it, it's, we have a homeless crisis here? Actually, the first time I came out here and really saw the homeless um, impact that it really was on the city, it was kind of another shocker for me because I've never seen that type of homelessness. It's very different than Chicago, and I know that uh, L.A. has the biggest population. So uh, wanting to branch out my organization to L.A. is a really big goal for me. Um, have different branches of young people running my organization, you know, doing bag stuffing, going out in their communities and helping out as much as they can. H how do you inspire young people like yourself to get out there and help? Because they can. Really how I affect the young people is by going out to schools, doing public speaking engagements, um, hopefully influencing them to go out in their communities, whether it's with homelessness or any other issue, really. Um, I just want them to follow their passions and hopefully give back to their community. I mean, you've been doing this for seven years now, and you've made great partnerships. I mean, Nike has uh, joined forces with you, and most recently, Crate and Barrel. Yeah. So tell us about your endeavor with Crate and Barrel as we look at some of your items that you've partnered with them and created for them. Yes, so these are, of course, my power pillows. I'm really excited to be dropping this um, with Crate and Barrel. I was actually a part of a campaign called Young Activist Program, and it was where you highlight other young people who are doing great things in the world, trying to change the world. And these is going to be the pillows with different affirmations on them. I am great. I am positive. So I was really happy to drop this with Crate and Barrel. Uh, this one here matches your shirt. Yeah. Don't <laughs> wait to be great. Uh, where do you see yourself? You're not waiting. You are already great. Uh, where do you see yourself in five to ten years? I mean, is this is what you're going to do when you grow up? Really, it is what I want to do when I grow up. I, I don't really see myself stopping with the organization. I want to continue giving back to my community and also making more products like these. Your force, uh, Jaquiel Jackson, if you would like to donate, volunteer, or help him in any way, you can visit his website. It is officialprojectiam.com. Truly, like I said, an honor. Thank, Thank you for you. all that you do. You're so inspiring. <laughs> you, you don't have your driver's license yet, obviously. Not no, yet. <laughs> he's changing the world. My goodness. All right, Jaquiel, thanks for stopping by.